Everybody, it's your boy K Knight coming back at you. Thank you for everyone that subscribed to my YouTube page called Cooking with K Knight. I really appreciate that. Yesterday we made uh, lemon pepper smoked and buffalo wings. They gone, so I got to cook something else. But, fellas, I'm going to show y'all today how to make that oven cook for you where you ain't got to stand up all day in that kitchen. You heard? For the day, y'all, all we're doing is going to do some pork chops. I already rinsed them off, washed them. We're going to do green beans. We're going to do real macaroni cheese. You heard me? All I got to do is get your pot. This for my pork chops. This one going to be for my noodles. And this one going to be for my green beans. They already warming up. Already warm. We want them to get to a boil. All right. I'll be back. All right. All right. I don't know if y'all can see, but that's just covering the bottom. It ain't covering my pork chop. Then you're going to season them up. Um, I use a little something. I put olive oil on them. And I got some seasonings, the basics, like you always use. Then I put my little something, something on it. You heard? All right, I'll be back. All right, homies, look. Pork chop season. I don't know if y'all can see them. But yeah, real good. They season real good. Both my water's boiling. I cut up an onion already. I put a little onion over it. Just like that. Just like that. If you don't like onion, you ain't got to use onion. All I'm going to do is open them green beans up, throw them in that water right there, put a little onion in there, in this water. See, now that water boiling, that's going to give it that onion, like an onion flavor water. All right, I'll be back. All right, now we're just going to throw some butter in there, fellas, in both of them, both the waters, just like that. Get my box of noodles. them up, pour them in there. I'll be back. While that's in, now I'm just going to stick this in the oven, put some foil over it, cover it all up, let it roll for about, i say about 45 minutes, then you want to check it. We'll be back. Alright, before you cover your green beans up, just put a little salt on there, just like that. A little pepper, just like that. If you can't have salt, whatever you use, substitute it with that. You want to put a little salt in your noodle water, too. Just a little bit. Just like that. All right. All right. My noodles been rolling, fellas. This is how you check them. You want to make sure they're real soft before you pull them off. These ain't where I want them to be yet. So that's how you check them. They've been going about 10 minutes. All right. Let's look at these green beans. They rolling. See how they rolling? That's what you want to see. Now we're going to turn them down. Turn them down by medium. That way they won't they'll still be cooking while everything else is cooking. Slow. That way you can sit down and you ain't got to watch everything. All right. Noodles done. I done drain them. Remember, if you got something stuck in the pot, just put some cold water in them. All you want to do is put some butter and some salt all over. That's how I do mine. Just one little layer. Stir it up. I'll be back. You heard very important step is you want to spray your pan. Spray it real good. Don't forget this or your macaroni will stick. All right, I'll be back. Pan spray real good. So now I'm just going to add Velveeta. Stir this up. Like that. Put it in my glass dish. I'll be back. Next, I'm just taking my cheese, cutting block slices. And I'll be back. Can't really do this with one hand. Food around, cut my damn thing off. So, I right, hold on. Like I said, I'm just doing a quick meal. So, this is how I cut them up. I use two different types of cheese, extra sharp, uh, regular sharp. And, of course, you use a, a bag of shredded cheese. Um, the Velveeta is what I use, which you can put whatever you want. You just place them in there, random little spots, fellas. Just like that. Just like that. Alright, I'll be back. Alright, it should look something like that. Now here's the kicker. This is what you want to do right here. And I guarantee you she's going to love it. You're going to take some milk. You're going to take... I use two eggs. You're going to make a filling. Like that. Just crack it. Damn. What's up? That's what's up. 
Hey, my fault about that egg, that happens sometimes. You know what I'm saying? We try to use one hand and video and crack an egg. You heard me? Just clean up, keep pushing. You heard me? All you're going to do with that filler is whip your eggs and milk, whip them up, and then you're going to pour it in over the cheese. You got me? All right. All right, everybody, that's it. You got your macaroni and cheese, pork chops, and green beans. I really appreciate everybody taking the time out to look at my channel. Got any questions, hit me up. Cooking with knight.com. All right, then.